Sasha Mox here. Hold up. Before we start, I'm a man. No, no, keep it going. I'm a man of my word. Before we start, I'm a man of my word. You asked me to take off my shirt. I, I said no. Pants off. Pants off. He's a man of his word. He's a man of his word. I gotta continue. That was showstopper. Sasha Mox here in Peterborough, Ontario. BTC4 Vendetta just wrapping up. I'm joined by the one and only, very unique, Elias Thorodoro. How are you doing today? Fantastic. Great night of fights. I uh, had the best seats in the house, and obviously keeping up uh, another, another uh, what's called addition of my ring boy duties. Yeah, and I want to actually ask you about that. You were here for ring boy duties, and you killed it. I gotta ask you, how did the opportunity come to you, come into your lap? Well, <laughs> metaphorically and uh, literally, I guess. Um, no, uh, Sherry and Irene uh, asked me, and I was very thankful uh, and uh, excited to be here. Obviously, uh, BTC is putting on great, uh, great fights, uh, great fights that Ontario needs and uh, Ontario fighters need. So, uh, excited to be a part of it in any way, shape, or form. And uh, you know, I'm a huge believer in mixed martial arts, obviously. And uh, you know, uh, BTC is doing a real great job of uh, you know building that vacuum in uh, mixed martial arts in Ontario. For sure. And speak of Ontario fights. You're fighting in Toronto, UFC 231. Mm -hmm. Got to ask you, how's preparation going for that tough matchup you got? I guess I got, I got to start now. No, yeah, um, so. no, I've been preparing for a fight for many, many months now. Uh, originally, I was supposed to fight uh, Carlos uh, Jr. out in, in uh, September in uh, Brazil. Fell out. Uh, injuries happen the way it goes. Uh, and then it was rescheduled. Again, he fell out because he needed, uh, I guess, surgery of some sort. Um, so now I have Eric Anders. Tough individual. He's, you know, he's game uh, in the sense that he is a linebacker uh, formerly in a past life as a college ball in uh, football. Uh, and again, athletic, explosive, uh, you know, like I said, game. He's, he's hungry on game day and he's going to try and knock my block off. But I'm going to show him the difference between chess and checkers. For sure. We can't wait to see that. LS, one last question. I know you're a busy guy. 2019, I'm, I know I'm looking ahead here. Mm -hmm. I know you got a fight coming up, 231. But 2019, ideally, how does it go for Elias? Um, well, my biggest fight is not against one man. It's against the stigma of medical cannabis. And uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the current process that I'm in uh, to get a therapeutic use exemption for medical cannabis, which would actually make me the first professional athlete ever to do this. And because of the, the, the way that uh, USADA is, is attached to WADA, which is the World Anti-Doping Agency, it'll actually create precedent not only for myself, but all other Canadian athletes. Because again, my fight is not just against one man. It's against the stigma of cannabis. And I'm hoping to break barriers for not just myself, but all Canadian athletes. For sure. Thank you, Elias, for your time. We can't wait to see you in the Octagon UC 231. And as always, thank you for tuning in.